you got 85,000 application at the rate of rupees 3. How much you receive? 255,000. Final card, 1,600 shares has gone. So you got only 58,400, 116,800. This is on the first card. This is on the final card for paid innovation. What is the total amount you got? 7,69,800. Share allotment account data, 2,70,000. Two share capital. I am Dr. B. S. Subramaniam. Called by name Dr. BSS, Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Aid College, a temple of excellence, Mysore. I am going to hand Financial Accounting of BBA, the chapter name, Issue of Shares of a Joint Stock Company. It's one of the important chapters which you are going to deal, which will come for the examination as a major question is considered. Now we are going to do, what do you mean by Issue of Shares? how the shares have been what's called perpetrated, what do you mean by oversubscription, what do you mean by undersubscription, all we are going to deal very detailedly. Today we are going to solve a very good problem. We'll go to the problem now. Money Company Limited invite application for 60,000 shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 2 rupees 50 paisa per share. Payable as follows. On application rupees 3, on allotment rupees 4 rupees 50 paisa, including the premium, we mean to say that the real money is 2, it is 2 rupees 50 paisa premium, totally 4 rupees 50 paisa, 2 on the first call, second and final call statistic, they came 3 rupees. The company received 85,000 share means 85,000 application. Out of which application, 5,000 shares were rejected, cancelled out, and money refunded has been paid back to the public. How many on how many share? 5,000 share. The allotment was made on pro rata to the remaining. So you got 60,000. How many application rejected? 5,000. How much still left over? 20,000 adjusted to allotment. Then Mr. Varun, who holds 1,000 share were allotted, uh, failed to pay first call. He fails to pay the first call. At the end of the first call, his shares were forfeited. No chance is given in the final call. He paid application. He paid allotment. Fails to pay the first call. No chance is given in the final call. We will move on what the problem says. Mr. Sharon, the holder of 600 share. Fails to pay the two call, means he failed the first call, he failed the final call, means a chance is given to him, he failed the first call, a chance is given the final call, where the first man, he failed the first call, no chance is given in the final call. According to the company act, they have been provided, he failed the first call, no chance is given in the final call, regarding this gentleman is considered, he failed in the first call, he failed in the final call, his shares were forfeited, means cancelled out. All the forfeited share were reissued to be said. How many share? First man holds 1,000 share. Second man holds 800 share. 600 share. Total how many share? 1,000 shares. 600 shares were reissued. Now regarding the application, we are going to say we have to pass the general entry and prepare the balance sheet. The question says you have to pass the entry and prepare the balance sheet. Before the balance sheet, you have to prepare the bank account. We will go slowly. We say shares. Shares is to applications. How many shares are there? 60,000. How many applications received? 85,000. How many share? 60,000. How many applications received? 85,000. How many applications rejected? 5,000. This is rejected. Rejected and the money refunded. So how much accepted? 60,000 share for 80,000 application. This called prorator. Cancel the zeros. Divided by 2. 2 3s are 2 4s are. So they are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 which is called prorata. Proportionately accepted. I will repeat. I will repeat, 60 shares are there, 
we got 85,000 application. How many application rejected? 5,000. How many application accepted? 80,000. For how many share? 60,000. That is 60,000 is to 8,000. Simplify this amount. Six, cancel the zero. They are in the ratio of 6 to 8 divided by 2. 2 threes are 2 fours are. They are in the ratio of 3 to 4, which is considered as pro rata adjustment, proportionately adjusted. So we'll go with the entry. What is the common entry? Bank account data to share application account. Second entry, share application account data to share capital account two share allotment account, two bank account. So excess money refunded now, two bank account. Adjusted to allotment, two share allotment account. You got how many share? 60,000 share. How many application received? 85,000. 85,000 application. What's your application please? Three. We go slow now. First entry, bank account data. You got 85,000 application at the rate of rupees three. How much you receive? 2,55,000 to share application account. 2,55,000 is a receiving entry. How much you receive? 2,55,000. So actually we require 60,000 into 3. Share application account data is 2,55,000 to share capital 60,000 into 3. 1,80,000. 20,000 application money adjusted to allotment account. 20,000 into 3, 60,000 refunded, 5,000 application rejected at the rate of rupees 3, 15,000. This is adjusted to allotment, it is refunded. I will repeat, you got 255,000. How much we require? 1 lakh 80,000 we require. How much adjusted to allotment account? 20,000 into 3, 60,000. How much money refunded? 5,000 into 3, 15,000. Actually, this amount goes to me. Actually, we got 2 lakh 50. We require 1 lakh 80. How much refunded? 15,000. How much credited to your allotment account? 60,000. We go to the allotment account. Your allotment is 4 rupees 50 paisa in that 2 rupees is the real money, 2 rupees 50 paisa is the premium. We pass the entry. Share allotment account data 60,000 into 4 rupees 50 paisa. It works out 2 lakh 70,000 to share capital. It comes to 60,000 into 2, 1 lakh 20,000 to share premium, 60,000 into 2 rupees 50 paisa. It comes to 1,50,000. So totally we require 2,70,000 for sake of capital 1,20,000. How much premium? 1,50,000. What is total amount due? 2,70,000. How much you already received in application? 60,000. How much you require? 2,70,000. How much you received? 60,000. What's the balance? 2,10,000. Bank account data 2,10,000 to share allotment account 2,10,000 which you are going to receive. Actually you require 2,70,000. How much already received? 60,000. What's the balance to receive? 2,10,000. Then we move on to the first call. Share first call account data. We got 60,000 share. First call amount is 2. 1,20,000. What's the entry? Share first call account data, 1,20,000. To share capital account, 1,20,000. The first shareholder holds how much? 1,000 share, fails to pay. Another man holding how much? 600 share, fails to pay. The first call and the final call mean you call for 60,000. How many shares money you could not receive? 1,600 means you going to receive. This is 60,000. Minus 1000 of the first man, minus 600 of the second man. It works out 58,400 only at the rate of rupees 2. It works out 1,16,800. I will repeat, you got 60,000. First man holds how many share? 1000 fails to pay. Second man holds how many share? 600 share. He fails to pay the first call and the final call. 1600 shares has gone. So you got only 58,400, 1,16,800. Now, we, we, no chance is given the first man, his shares were forfeited, the problem same. He holds how many share? 
1000 share he paid application 3 rupees allotment to how much he paid 5 rupees he paid fails to pay the first call no chance is given the final call me the value of the share for him is not 10 that is 3 on application 2 on allotment 2 on first call totally 7 rupees the face value come so for feature entry share capital account data 1000 into 7 how 7 comes 3 on application 2 on allotment 2 on first call totally 7 so to share first call account to forfeit a share how much already paid he paid application he paid allotment so 1000 into 5 already paid now he fails to pay the first call of rupees 2 so 1000 into 2 he has to pay how much 7000 how much he could not pay 2000 how much already paid this already paid not paid how much not paid 2000 how much already paid 5000 thus goes so in favor of the company it's a gain to a company to the extent of 5000 about the first man we'll go to the next man holds how many share 600 share share final call account data to share so when you make the final call so who first we give TA chance to one man who holds 600 share you call for only 59,000 share first man has gone at the rate of rupees 3 so it works out how much due entry 1 lakh 77,000 to be received now the last man fails to pay 600 shareholder do not pay that out of 59,000, we have got 60, 1,000 gone. Out of 59,000, 600 shares gone. 59,000, 600 gone. It comes to 58,400 at the rate of rupees 3. It works out 1,75,200. So only 58,400 become, become the shareholder. Now, share forfeited. How many share? 600. Share capital account debt 600 into 10, 6,000 6, he has to pay. What he has paid? Application rupees 3, allotment to how much he paid? 5. So, 600 into 5 he paid. Totally 3,000. He fails to pay the first call, 600 into 2. He fails to pay the final call, 600 into 3. So, total how much he has to pay? 6,000. How much already for paid and forfeited? He paid 3 on application, 2 on allotment, 3,000. He fails to pay the first call, 1,200. He fails to pay the final call, 1,000. If he fails to pay, fails, fails. Fails, fails to pay. How much already paid? 3,000. That goes to him. So, first you got on the for feature, 3,000. Second, you got 3. 5,000, this is 3,000, totally 8,000. Now, all the forfeited share were reissued to piece 8, the problem says. It has been reissued to piece 8. So, here, bank account data. are. So, how many share you got? Bank 1,600 or to piece 8. It comes to 12,800. Forfeited shares account data. are. It is you got 1600 into 2. It works out 3200. Two share capital account. This is 1600 into 10. That is 16,000. I will repeat. Bank account data 12,800. For feeded shares account data 3200. Totally it works out 16,000. Debit entry is how much? 6200. Now, how much goes to the capital reserve, we say? See, first entry you got 5,000, second entry you got 3,000, 5,000 plus 3,000, 8,000. How much debit entry? 3,200. How much excess is there? 4,800. That will go to capital reserve. The excess money will be kept in the capital reserve. If there is any shortage of funds come, that can be utilized as a capital. Now, before preparing the balance sheet, we'll go to a bank account. You receive an application 2,55,000. If you see the board, you can understand. First, how much you receive? 2,55,000. Remember, 2,55,000 on application. Then, see that what's a bank account? 2,10,000 you receive on allotment. First one, 
टू लैख फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड सेकेंड वन टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड देन रिगार्डिंग द फर्स्ट कॉल यू रीज वन लैख सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड रिगार्डिंग द फाइनल कॉल यू रिसीव वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड देन फर्फीटेड एंड री इश्यू यू गॉट ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड ऑल विल बी पुट इन टू बैंक अकाउंट सो दिस इज ऑन अप्लीकेशन दिस इज ऑन अलॉटमेंट दिस इज ऑन द फर्स्ट कॉल दिस इज ऑन द फाइनल कॉल फर फेट एंड रिशू वॉट इज द टोटल अमाउंट यू गॉट सेवन लैख सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड हाउ मेनी अप्लीकेशन रिजेक्टेड हेयर फाइव थाउजेंड रिजेक्टेड एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज थ्री हाउ मच मनी पेड बाय फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड हेज पेड बैक टू पब्लिक हाउ मच लेफ्ट ओवर सेवन लैख फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड एट दैट इज द कैश एड बैंक सो युअर बैलेंस शीट शुड टैली टू हाउ मच मनी सेवन लैख फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड वी मूव ऑन टू द बैलेंस शीट सो यू गॉट अबाउट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड शे कैप एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज टेन सो सिक्सटी थाउजेंड then reserve and surplus is heading you got a share premium that is 60000 into 2 rupees 50 paisa your share the last entry 4800 it will tally for how much money 7 lakh 54800 what's your cash at bank 7 lakh 54000 so all the problem should be solved like this here liabilities are sources assets are application you have to solve the problem only in the vertical column only not horizontal you have to solve in the vertical column only as per company act 2013 say source application source application source includes liability and equity you have got reserve and surplus you can have here as in application you can have a fixed asset And the current asset discount on issue of shares and debenture that will come with the miscellaneous expenditure and loan that we are going to discuss in future. Here, what source will come on the left side, application will come. No horizontal. If you do on the horizontal, you won't get the marks in the examination is considered. So they will ask vertical column balance sheet ninety nine point nine percent vertical column balance sheet only source. and application i will repeat this is the source this is the application source contain equity reserve and surplus whereas here application contain fixed asset and the current asset issue tally so you, you must be carefully you have to prepare cash at bank which is considered as a current asset okay so if you have got still doubt the entry regarding the second entry is considered i will repeat that entry see that You got how much money? Two lakh fifty-five thousand. Actually, you acquire one lakh eighty thousand. How much money have been refunded? Five thousand. Application have been rejected. Fifteen thousand. How much adjusted to allotment account? Sixty thousand. While you are receiving the allotment money, due entry for allotment money, share allotment account debt are two lakh seventy thousand. Two share capital. Two share premium. Total how much money you have do? Two lakh seventy thousand. How much already received in application? Sixty thousand. What's the balance? Two lakh ten thousand. Entry. This is two lakh ten. This you have to remember. Once you remember, now we can go with another problem in the next session. In the next session, we we'll discuss detail once again. There is over subscription for feature and reissue and pro rata allotment. So I will go very slowly and solve all the problems of question paper. Don't worry, we solve all the problem, all the types of problem. We'll meet in the next session with another good problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet you once again. Good day for you.